user stories are one of the most important tools that you can use to guide your sales and even the organization to ensure that the app that you build is fit for purpose. Now in this module, we're gonna look at the elements of a user story to ensure that when we write them, we actually write them well uh, for us. So in the first instance, they actually need to be simpler and concise. Now, when you look at them, you may think that they are actually simple, but actually to write a good user story, it's, it takes a bit of skill. And in some respects, you could think about these a little bit like a mission statement for your app. And, you know, mission statements aren't that easy to write in order to kind of bring all the right people in. So it is important to think about being simple and concise when you're writing these user stories. Now, in the first instance, what you need to say is, who are we talking about? And it's not, you're not supposed to put someone's name in here. You're supposed to put their, their role as a sales advisor, as a, um, I don't know, as a receptionist, as a security guard, as, you know, whatever that role is, as a, um, as a, payroll uh, officer, um, th those those sorts of roles within the organization. So you say who is that's going to be benefiting from this user story. Then what it, you do is you say what they need to, to, to be able to do. I need to be able to, uh, I need to be able to see a list of all of the people that have logged in during the day, say. And then you go on to say, so that I can. And it's important to have that so that I can because you don't want this thing to be a wish list of just things that they think that they should have. It really puts it in context to show how important that particular thing is. So in the instance of as a HR manager, I need to see a list of the status of the onboarding tasks so that I can ensure that when someone arrives in the business, they do so successfully. That might be a user story. You then go on to say what the acceptance criteria uh, is for that user story. And, you know, to my mind, you know, I can live without the acceptance criteria. The, the use, but the fact of the user story is, is really, really important. To, to some extent, the acceptance criteria is is a derivative of that user story anyway, but but it is important. It means that that people can then go back and you know you can say, well, have I have I actually ticked it? So it's a bit more technical. This idea of the acceptance criteria. Now there is a really great place that I found for advice on writing user stories, and that's actually the Gov UK site. So if we actually go onto there, we'll see some really nice bits of guidance, and I'll show you how to do that in the in the very very short demonstration that we're going to do. I'll see you over there. So in order to get to the UK government guidance, you just go Gov. UK user stories and I'll just type that in and then you get to this really cool bit of a demo about writing user stories so this we're now on the UK government website and it's it's just written it's in written form so uh, and it then goes on to say well what to include so we've got this idea of the person using the service, what the service needs it is for, and why the user needs it. And there's a few examples of, um, and you've got the idea of as a, I need to, so that uh, in this particular area. And and I would I would stick uh, I would stick very closely to this language as a something I need to and so that, and that's what you want to achieve. And there's an example of uh, a user story here. As a UK resident, I want to get my details on the electoral reg register so that I can vote. And you can see that the, uh, and we, it kind of goes on to focusing on the goal, and then it moves on to the acceptance criteria here. And you can see that there's the acceptance criteria for the 
the registered vote service are as following. It is done when the user knows how to register on, online. It's done when the user knows how to download uh, a form and register by post. And it's done when the user knows where to send the form. So there's, there's a small number of points there, but don't underestimate the importance of the user story in, in being successful with building your apps. I hope you find this lesson useful and I will see you in the next lesson. Any comments that you have to this, please let me know down below. Thanks.